Hello everyone, this is Coloring Chemist. My name is Connie and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today is March the 7th. Um, it's, it's getting on to springtime. Of course, the, the spring equinox is on uh, March 20th. And that's when the length of sunlight hours and the length of nighttime hours are equal in the Northern Hemisphere here. Um, Easter is at the end of March. We've got St. Patrick's Day, of course, on March 17th. It is starting to look like spring outside my house here, though we've had a very, very weird winter. Um, but it's, yeah, spring, spring is coming. It will be later in coming here than lots of other places. I know, um, some of you who watch live in the UK and in more southerly portions of the US and and some places in Europe and you probably get lovely spring flowers before I do <laughs> but that is okay so as much as I do love winter I do I love winter I also like to see the changing of the seasons I really enjoy living in a place where I get to see all four seasons and so I was feeling springish so I thought well I'm gonna go through my books and my PDFs and just find all the spring kind of inspired images. Um, and I thought, well, if I'm going to do that, I might as well share it with you guys. So this is going to be, well, it's going to be a long video. So if you would like to uh, pause and grab yourself a little snack, maybe something to sip on, <laughs> you can always watch it in installments as well. Um, but it's just going to be a rambly kind of chatty me going through and looking for, yeah, spring images. Now, I guess technically any floral image for the Northern Hemisphere, obviously, because um, of course this time of year it's fall for you guys down in the Southern Hemisphere. But for spring, any floral image could be spring. But I tried to narrow it to floral images that were sort of had would had spring type flowers at least spring what I would think of as spring type flowers so or I, I tried to narrow it down to well I mean let's start with this this is actually a freebie page from Kanoka Egusa and uh, I probably won't link well I definitely I'm not going to link all the books or anything in the description below because that would be ridiculous uh, it would be a lot but if anybody sees anything and you're having trouble finding it, just let me know in the comments below and I can totally link things for you that way. So this is a freebie by Kinoko Agusa and it has, I mean, it, it to me it's got a spring feel. So we've got some tulips there. Um, we've got these to me look like they could be violas, violets maybe. Um, We've got what looks like some orchids in there, maybe some daffodils, and then just kind of, you know, some rabbits. So it, it's a floral picture. It wouldn't necessarily have to be spring, but because I probably mostly because of the tulips, <laughs> I decided that, you know, that's the kind of floral image that I was going to decide was spring. And I was going to include it in, in this look at, uh, at spring, spring inspired images. So this is super cute. We've got little mice and kinds of animals in there. It looks like a lamb too. And it just reminded me of an Easter basket. So there's that one. So that's a PDF. This is a free PDF. Um, and that PDF was free as well. This was from Lottie Ford. And I think if you sign up for her email newsletters, then she will email you links for, I can't remember how often, whether it was monthly quarterly but she'll send free pictures and this was an Easter greetings picture I think from last year yeah 2023 very cute little bunnies some Easter eggs so there's that so those two were free PDFs these are some PDFs from Agoda Pop who is on Etsy so it's A-G-O-T-A-P-O-P -P, Agoda Pop and these were not free so I purchased these off of Etsy, but she's got a whole collection. She or he, I'm not sure, um, has a whole collection of tinies. That's what they're called. So there's Christmas tinies. Um, I 
think Halloween, is there Halloween tinies? Hmm. I know there's Christmas and I know there's Easter. Tiny blooms, I think. So it's basically a series of, of illustrations and, and they're, they're sold separately, separately in these little packs where there's small images kind of all on one page. So this is one of her tiny, her, his, I don't know, sorry. Um, tinies collections. So it's, it's Easter, right? You've got bunnies, you've got eggs. This one's here. So this is, um, I think it's six images to a page, but this actually looks like, I mean, I guess you could divide it in half, but this, this is kind of all one. So maybe this is sort of five images, but here you've got six. Very cute. Six there. And then the last page is just some egg shapes. So you could sketch out your own. So there's some spring kind of Easter pages. Um, this was an older Tiny's one. This is also a go to pop and I had started coloring this. I should also mention. So in this video, I'm going to show you all the, the sort of spring pages that I, you know, found. You'll probably also get a, a peek at some of my spring coloring, just, you know, looking through. So the things that I've colored in the past. And I started coloring this, I don't remember when, last year, year before maybe, and that was as far as I got. So there's the uncolored version. So this one has 12 little tinies on a page. And there's, there's the one, did a little bit of, looks like metallic gel pen on the flowers, tried to do a little shading on the bow. Just a little egg there. So yeah, there's some coloring I did, Easter coloring. Um, this again is a tinies. This is also still a go to pop. I don't know if this is spring tinies or just floral tinies. Sorry, the lighting is kind of washing that out, isn't it? Sorry about that. But there were some tulips there. Not all of these, I guess, would be considered spring flowers. Those look like cherry blossoms. Some of these are more summer flowers Those look like violets or um, pansies violas those are crocuses so yeah some spring flowers in there to color sorry about that little book avalanche I had to pause for a second and rescue some books uh this is and it's a bit faded on the edges and that's I think my printer. I just printed this on copy paper um, just to show you. This is Tatiana Bogema Stolova's Easter book. Nice little town Easter. I printed it on a copy paper because I'm not sure if I will be coloring in here. It's not my favorite. I like I think I have a few of her nice little town books. I, I prefer the ones with the mice and this one doesn't have the mice, though it does have some cute pictures. This was purchased off her Etsy store. So, sorry, just doing a quick flip. It's an older book. I'm sure everybody has, uh, has seen the images. I didn't show you all of them there, but get the general idea. I'm sort of showing you, um, I want to do the PDFs first. And these are my spring specific books. And that's it. <laughs> now, I do have tons of other books that I have here where I've actually marked pages in them that are spring related or Easter or, you know, just kind of that spring season. Um, but they're not specifically spring books, whereas these are my specifically spring books. So of course the lovely Rita Berman and her uh, mind, oh, shall I even try and say it? Mein Frühlings Spezia Gang? Spezia Gang? I tried. <laughs> Those of you who speak German can certainly correct me. But of course this, uh, 
I love Rita Berman's work. I love the book size. I just love everything about it. Um, colored a little butterfly there. That was a while ago. Need to color this. This is in all of her walk books. I've colored the little image on the sort of, it's not really a title page, but it's sort of an intro page, except for the spring book. So I need to, I need to do that. But yeah, I did that a few years ago or last year, year before. I was, I was very proud of, this is all pit pen. Um, I, I was very proud. I liked the way I did the pussy willows and the little hanging catkins. I sort of added some detail in there that kind of wasn't there. But yeah, I like that one. Oh, uh, what else have I done in here? Well, I've got a page mark there that I was thinking about working on later. Of course, that was in my uh, completed pages for February. So that was some spring coloring, but just, yeah, just very, I just love Rita Berman. I love her style. I did this page in, and we'll probably get to it a little bit later, uh, the compilation book. Just looking at this makes me want to color. Yeah, and that's, that's how you know you've kind of got a book that really, that really does fit your style. I do have Morgan O'Brien, Matchstick Mouse, Spring. I have not colored anything in this book. Isn't that terrible? I really should. I do like Matchstick Mouse. She's so cute. I think I have all the Matchstick Mouse books. And, and even if, you know, I haven't colored in here yet, I will. Um, I would never, I don't think I would ever donate them or give them away. I just, I just like the images too much. <laughs> it looks like the, I'm assuming that's a hedgehog. The little hedgehog is like rubbing his eyes because he's waking up from a, from his winter nap. That's, it's just so cute. So there's Matchstick Mouse Spring. Now I do have Matchstick Mouse Floral, but I don't think I actually included it just because again, it was florals but it wasn't all spring. And I, I took a glance through it. I could be wrong. I'm just trying to think here. Um, but it didn't strike me as a sort of a spring book, although it could be right florals, but yeah, so I, I, I have it, but I didn't include that one. This is the only kind of St. Patrick's day book that I have. It's Celtic inspired mandalas. Oh, sorry, glare there. Camellia Angelicova. And I have done some in here. It's just Amazon paper. And it's similar to a lot of other mandalas that I do, um, it's gel pen, whether it be, this looks like it's all metallic gel pen or some glitter gel pen there. And then some alcohol marker, um, glitter and metallic gel pen combined. Yeah. So, and I was just having fun with just sort of greens and golds for most of them, but so that's a fun book, just coloring those Celtic knots. It's very Zen. So now we're on to the books that are not, um, totally spring, but might have spring pages in them. And I mean, this is not an extent. I don't have, a, a, you know, every coloring book in the world. So there are definitely, uh, books that I don't have. So I'm sure that there will be some that I'm missing here, but just going through my collection, just inspiring me to get ready to start coloring spring things. I'm a very seasonal colorist. So this is um, Ursula Schwab, I believe. And this is a hard bound book and it's small. You can see compared to my hands. It's almost like journal sized. And I mean, that's what it is, right? It's a planner. So it's got pages and it's not for any specific year, right? Um, it doesn't have actual dates, but it goes by um, month by month. So my year, Hope I said that my year basically. And so starting in February, she starts to have spring pages. So here we've got some snowdrops and then March. So that was the kind of the end of February, March, some tulips and bulbs. That's a cute picture. The snail. 
The poor snowman is melting. His time is done. Some little, little spring animals there. The paper is... It's quite good. It's not, you know, it's not thin. Some, looks like stamps with spring images on them. A bit of a spring gardening scene. Some older people outside having a little chat in the sunshine. Still in March. And then April. We've got a Easter bunny there with some eggs. Easter this year is... I think it's March 31st this year. 2024? Yeah. So it's... Yeah, it's not even into April, but typically Easter tends to fall in April. There's some more spring flowers, some daffodils, tulips. A spring lamb with some hedgehogs there, some rain. April showers bring my flowers. Or where I live could be April snowstorms, hard to say. Oh, I stuck this here because I was I was looking through this book, and this is still April, but it's a picture of witches. And I thought, that's odd. Because in, in North American culture, witches would be, I mean, that's a Halloween kind of thing. So I did a little digging, and it, those of you that live uh, maybe in Germany or, or Europe, um, Certainly, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is a reference to Walpurgis Night? Is that right? Um, which is a, a sort of a cultural festival, I think, in the Germanic countries. And I'm not sure if it has to do with kind of spring or the coming of... or, or I'm not sure, but I think... Yeah, I think that's why there's witches here in April. It's Walpurgis? If I'm saying that right, night, I think. And then on to May. I mean, there would be, there's a maypole, so um, looks like some cherry blossoms up there. So May images here. We've got Lily the Valley, chickens with baby chicks. Baby chicks are so adorable. My niece and nephew have chicks um, quite often in the spring. It's a cat with kittens. And then June, June, you're kind of getting into, well, most places you would be getting into summer weather. Um, but yeah, so this is a, a super sweet little book. This, you know, every time, and I pulled this, uh, some of these you probably saw, I pulled them out at, you know, for my sort of look through with Christmas and winter coloring. And did I get to them? No. Which is why you don't see me do you know, a lot of colorists, and I love watching them, they'll do sort of their March coloring plans or their February coloring plans, or um, they'll do them quarterly, like their spring coloring plans. You don't see me do those videos because <laughs> I'm terrible at following through. Um, I tend to, for as organized as I am, and I am, I, I love organization, but I, I don't tend to, if I make a plan, you know, and choose pages ahead of time. I don't know. There's some perverse part of me that then when I go to sit down to color, I'm like, I don't want to color any of those. I'm going to color something else. <laughs> so I don't, I don't make those videos because I just don't, uh, I, I never stick to it. And I remember looking at this, this book and many others in my uh, Christmas and winter coloring, you know, looking through pages thinking, oh, definitely. Yeah, I definitely color, you know, in that book and in, in, you know, winter or Christmas. Did I? No, I didn't. Now, there are some beautiful um, spring pages. This is Woodland Watercolor. This is Claire Therese Gray. Beautiful, beautiful spring pages in here. Will I color them? I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. I don't know. I really should. And this, of course, the, the images are printed on watercolor paper, which makes it uh, uh, a very special book. Now, this isn't necessarily um, spring, but I should take these tags off as I go. But I thought, well, it's it's eggs. 
We've got, you know, different starling robin nuthatch. You could look up what these eggs look like um, in real life and paint them that way. But I, just, I thought eggs were springish. I thought this was kind of a springish picture. I mean, it does have mushrooms, which, I, I mean, I guess you could call it a fall picture too. I'm not sure. It's got dandelions though, and that to me says spring. So that's why I included it there. Some badgers, it looks like. This is an adorable picture, the little bee. And I'm, I'm pretty sure these are cherry blossoms. They could be apple too, but actually if there's leaves, ch when cherry trees bloom, their leaves aren't out yet. Is that right? We don't really have cherry trees here. Um, but this, the leaves are already out with the blossoms and I think that maybe is more apple if I had to guess. But I mean, my apple tree, my crab apple trees usually get blossoms. Well, for us, it's usually June-ish, but it's still kind of a spring thing. And this I thought was kind of the same idea. Um, maybe an apple tree here because it's got leaves and blossoms at the same time. Baby birds in the nest. I thought that was a nice spring picture too. But yeah, I, I do. I do love this book. I haven't done anything in it. Partly kind of scared. Um, I've tried watercolors for background. I'm just not good. I'm not good at controlling them. But I guess the only way you get better is to, uh, to practice, to do it in practice. This was a relatively recent book that I picked up and it's a Korean coloring book. And I believe it translated to, I think it was like Friends in the Forest maybe, but it's separated into seasons. And so here we've got spring. That's just so cute. It reminds me, I was a kid of the 80s. And so we had, you know, um, oh my goodness, what was it called? With the cat, with the, it was Japanese. I've totally blanked now. But that's what it kind of reminded me of, was that kind of stationary that you would, I want to say My Little Pony, but that's not right. <laughs> it was, was it My Kitty? Something kitty. Something to do with kitty. You guys will tell me in the comments. But, and the paper in here is super thick. It's, it's cardstock, basically. And you've got the colored or painted image on this side, and then the line work on this side. They're quite simple images. And this is a smaller book. In fact, I was surprised when I got it. I should have read the description uh, more carefully. I didn't realize it was this small. It's not super small, but it's definitely smaller than, you know, sort of your typical Joanna Basford size book. And it's this little boy and his bear doing all kinds of adventuresome things. Visiting squirrel family. I'm assuming these are waking up from a spring, from, from a winter hibernation. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> I think I might. <laughs> they look very confused. Very. I, I'm assuming those are sleep caps. Otherwise they might have, they look like they've maybe been imbibing too much, but I don't think that's what's going on. I think this is innocent. So I think those are, they're just waking up from their winter hibernation. Yeah, seedlings, dandelions. Very spring, spring-like images. I mean, some of them, I don't know why this is necessarily spring, but it's in the spring section. Koalas. Riding a, a bird. Those look like Lily of the Valley flowers. Again, don't know why this is spring, but the artist decided it was. dance party, a little forest dance party. Goes this way. I don't know 
if the sheep are supposed to be singing the little boy to sleep. He looks terrified. <laughs> so I don't really know what's going on there. But it's really cute. Sorry. I told you it was going to be a long chatty video. I think that's the cover image. So a little tea party. And then we're into summer. So that's a very cute book. Uh, here we've got uh, Diane Dufour. And this is fur, fur babies? No. Oh my goodness. My brain is just blank. I had a long day today. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Boule de Poilly. Pol no. I'm not even going to try French. Boule de Poil. Is that close? Probably not. This is also divided into seasons. And no. when you see, uh, there's, there's four pages in here that have sort of a kind of a geometric shape with an image inside. And as far as I can tell, that's the start of a, a particular season. So here we've got the start of the spring section, lamb, a bird on some a branch with some blossoms there. Those look like guinea pigs. She's got a sweet illustration style. I haven't, again, I haven't colored anything in here either. This winter I've been obsessed with that uh, Snowflake Mandala book, so. This almost looks winter-ish. I mean, it could be snow kind of coming off the branches, but then you've got some daffodils down here. So maybe it's kind of a, you know, kind of a, one of those bridging seasons images. Birds on a teacup, teapot, some otters, a little tea party, lamb with some wheat, which is odd because wheat would look like that in the fall, but that's okay. A girl with some florals. Otter with a baby otter. Pup. I like that page. The bunnies and the... I, you know, I kind of like wallpaper pages. I guess because I like tiny details. I don't mind them. Some mice and some flowers there. Those look like peonies maybe. Or it could be tulips opening up. with some house plants. Those look like otters again, maybe. That's a pretty typical cat. Knock the plant over. Cafe. Got some woodland animals. Cat with some butterflies. She must be maybe sitting on her bed reading. That is pretty typical of a horse. They're gonna have uh, burrs and what have you stuck in their mane and tail. And, and if you spend hours combing them all out within 10 minutes of putting them back outside, it'll be full again. <laughs> the fox, the baby fox, unicorn, somebody playing astronaut in a box. And then a spring lamb. And then, like I say here, we've got, you know, a diamond shape again. And I think, as far as I can tell, that means that's the start of summertime images. So that's Diane Dufour. Cute book. Um, Joanna Basford. Now, her small victories, she doesn't tend to do seasonal books, except she does have a Christmas book. Um... But she will sometimes have images within the books that are, well, I mean, they could be. In fact, in this book in particular, she drew four wreaths that are for the four seasons. So there's the spring wreath, and then summer, and then fall and winter. I colored the winter one, so yeah, I'll probably have a go with the spring one. And then just in flipping through, um... I thought this image could be, could be spring. It had, uh, it looked like maybe some cherry blossoms here or apple blossoms, some lily of the valley kind of sprays. 
the game wouldn't have to be spring, but it just struck me as spring. And I did have a really good time just going through the books, you know, page by page. I don't think I marked any else in there. Nope. Um, and just, sorry, I'm trying to keep, like, my camera's in a slightly different spot. Sorry if I keep uh, moving things off center. But, yeah, just going through my books page by page and just finding, finding images that said spring to me. Now, we looked at um, Rita Berman's Spring Walk. But for each of these walk books, she has, I mean, that could be spring. I colored that in February. It's more, I guess, Valentine's Day, but kind of springish colors. I'm definitely going to do more of that color palette going into spring, I think. That was Karen Zucchini Kitty. That's where I got the inspiration for that color palette. So if you watch my February completed pages, I, I actually linked in the description for that video, um, her video, where I'd gotten that color palette idea from. But at the end of the winter book, uh, Rita will put in a few spring pages. And then at the end of the spring book, she puts in a few summer pages, etc. So I think it's just two. Yeah. So this is the one. And these occur at the beginning of the spring book. So I colored this at the beginning of the spring book. So it, it is the same image. So technically, I do have two of these images just because I have both the winter and the spring books. And that's definitely a spring image. Yeah. This next one is a new book to me. And I I didn't include it in my February in my January February haul because I think I got it at the very beginning of March. I know I said I wasn't going to buy anything for March, but this was I think this was it. <laughs> so this is a book by Nina Stajner, S-T-A-J-N-E-R. -E and this is a book that I have been looking for for a long time. She is a designer who, she's a graphic designer who does a lot of designs for um, like baby things. So you can get blankets with her designs on them, like baby blankets and what have you. But she had put out a coloring book a number of years ago. And I believe the only place you could get it was through her Etsy store. And then she took time off. And as far as I know, the Etsy store is still on a break because she had a little one of her own. And I was sort of, you know, every so often I would check the Etsy store and I was kind of patiently waiting for this book to, to for her to open the store again and, and maybe offer the book. Um, and then it popped up on Amazon and I thought, I wonder if this is actually her <laughs> or if someone has stolen her book because the other one she had listed on her Etsy store, it was, um, I think it was like vegan, vegan ink and recycled. Like it, it just seemed very not Amazon printed. You know what I mean? And then this showed up on Amazon and it definitely is it's printed on Amazon paper. Um, so I did a little digging because I didn't want to show it on my channel if it was, you know, if, if something was dodgy about it. But uh, I found on her, is it her Facebook page? She did actually release this on Amazon. So this truly is hers. This isn't stolen. And I just think it's the sweetest book. I would totally pay more money for it to not be printed on Amazon paper. Absolutely. Um, if anybody would like a full flip through of this book, just let me know. I can certainly do that. But what I did was, it's my tiny forest coloring book. Um, 30 woodland inspired whimsical illustrations are waiting for you to color. I will give the ISBN for this because it's probably one of the ones right there that, you know, the other ones we've looked at so far, you, you could probably find those. Um, but I marked out what I thought were spring pages in here. And I just love her illustration style. I just think it's so, so sweet. So we've got crocuses, or maybe those are snowdrops. You know, we've got daffodils. And so she's got these little animals and you know, sort of woodland forest scenes. This one could be, you know, again, we've got 
spring florals, some spring showers there, bunny and a squirrel. They're not, some of them have more, I'll just flip back a page here. This isn't necessarily spring, but a little bit more detail. But all of them are just so sweet. Like I say, I would, I would absolutely pay more money to have this on better paper. There's another spring tea party. Spring florals again. Aren't they just the cutest images, though? Little hedgehog. I love hedgehogs. We have them here. I love them. Little daffodils planting out some veggies, maybe. You wouldn't think pears would be ripe in the spring, but you know what? That's okay. Little animals in a little pond there. Frog. Little frog bum. <laughs> Yeah, I, I might even scan these and print them on better paper just so I have them on better paper. Um, I don't know if this is a spring image. So I mean, you got the bunny and he's got a basket with some veggies. Maybe it's not a spring image. There's still daffodils here, though. <laughs> but yeah, I just... Like I say, I, I'd been waiting for this book. I'd, I had seen some flips a number of years ago by people who had bought this book from her originally. And I looked and I looked and I looked and I just, it wasn't, and then yeah, it was just on Amazon. It does say uh, we choose standard quality paper due to the limited paper options Amazon offers. We appreciate your understanding regarding the paper quality. So, I mean, they're even apologizing for the paper quality. Uh, and I know, you know, getting your book printed by not Amazon is probably a very big undertaking, but yeah, too cute. This is Megan Terrios, her Flowerscapes book. And of course I just sort of went through and chose um, kind of spring floral images. So there's daffodil, it's definitely spring for us here. Lily the Valley is uh, a spring kind of blooming flower for us here. Spring into summer, I guess. Pansies would definitely be spring for us here. Because once it gets too warm, of course, they kind of go to seed. Uh, there's a viola, which is, it's like the wild version of a pansy, basically. So that's spring. Spider plant is more, I mean, that's, that's an indoor plant, but um, apricot blossoms, I figured those were, not that we can grow apricots here, I'm in central Canada, but I figured they were probably a spring floral. And, you know, throughout her whole book, she's got sort of the, the individual kind of sample picture of whatever the, the bloom is on the left, and then sort of a, a scene incorporating that bloom on the right. So that's nice. You could sort of practice coloring it there and then use that to do the scene. Trillium. That is the provincial flower of Ontario. And those are spring flowers, woodland flowers. Hyacinth, that's also a spring flower. Roses where I am, not so much spring, more into summer. Um, because it's just not warm enough, I think, in the spring. So. And yeah, so some lovely spring florals in Maggie Ontario's Flowerscapes. Or Flowerscape, sorry. Got a following on for flowers. We have Layla Dooley's The Flower Year. And this goes by month by month. And so starting in February, she's got... Um, spring florals. So snowdrops, crocuses, sort of some floral scenes there. Again, I, I look at these books. <laughs> I should be coloring. I should be coloring in these books. Some catkins. Clock. 
Colt's Foot Spring Snowflake Primroses. Oh, I don't live where prim primroses grow. I wish I did. Daisy. Daisy here is more of a summer flower where I am. March brings breezes loud and shrill, stirs the dancing daffodil. Sarah Coleridge. So then she's got spring florals here too. Daffodils there. Tulips. Along these blushing borders bright with dew and in yon mingled wilderness of flowers. Fair-handed spring. Unbosoms every grace. I think that's what it says. James Thompson. Hyacinths there. Periwinkle flowers and a wren. Lesser celandine. And then April, it looks like she's got kind of a um, Easter kind of thing with the bunny there. I think those are fritillaria and fritillaria they sort of look like tulips but they actually have a checkered pattern on them um that's what it looks like to me i could be wrong we get lots of marsh marigolds in the spring they're beautiful wild strawberries wood sorrel cowslips pasque flower Bluebells, wild garlic. We don't get wild garlic. I wish we did. Uh, common dog violets. And a painted lady butterfly. And then May. May you still get, I think, some um, spring florals. Moving more into summer. To me, that's starting to look more like summer florals. I am a gardener, so I'm, I'm somewhat familiar with... with flowers. I mean, the flowers, you know, usually that we can grow here. Yeah, and then into June. So, some beautiful spring florals there. This is one of my favorite books, and I am so chicken to color in this book, and I think I've said that before probably a number of times. This is, a, it's, it's by the Posh Publishing Company, and it's Marjolaine Marjolaine Beston's um, artwork and the book has on the left hand side of the page her sort of original artwork and then a line art version on the right that you can copy if you wish I mean you wouldn't have to but um, I just you know what if even if I never and I have started one page in here it's not very good but even if I never color in here, I love her artwork so much. I have her her daily desk calendar. This is my 2024. I had, oh, had one for 2023 as well. I just love look, looking at her artwork. So even if I never color in here, just looking at this makes me happy. So I thought this looked very springish. Um, are those snowdrops? No. Duh. Oh. Anyway, but that was a, I felt a, a spring, a spring picture. I thought this was a spring picture. I believe, isn't that, that's the Dutch flag, isn't it? Netherlands. And then we've got some daffodils, hyacinth, tulips, Holland, yeah. Which I believe that's where she's from, I think. I could be wrong. Coloring in here, I think, would take some talent <laughs> and karen zucchini kitty has colored in in this book before and she does amazing amazing things um but the line art is very sketchy like not sketchy as in bad but um it, it doesn't contain all the details it, it's not like a traditional coloring book where every every little detail is drawn in do you know what i mean so you would have to do some of your own interpretation from side to side to get it to look the same if that makes sense 
So, I mean, that part kind of scares me too, because I think, hmm, I think Karen did this one uh, last year, maybe the year before. And of course did a fantastic, amazing job. But I mean, there's, there's Mr. Easter Bunny. I just love Marjolin's artwork so much, so much. Cardinals with their babies. So I thought that was kind of spring. I always think baby animals are spring. Um, these are morels, which we do get here in the spring. Usually around about the, the Canadian long May weekend. So what is that? The third, third weekend in May is usually when if... Um, if I go out walking on my property, I can find some morels. I've never picked them and eaten them just because I'm scared. <laughs> because false morels uh, are very toxic and very poisonous. So I, you know, I don't want to pick the wrong thing. But I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm what I'm seeing on that long weekend, May long weekend, are, are morels. Now, this is the one I started to color. <laughs> it's not, it's not very good. Um, I did some basing and I, I think the flowers here are kind of finished. I think the yellow flowers, I'm finished. I think I finished these ones. Maybe the snail is finished and that was about it. I based some other things and then I just chickened out. I just, and I was doing this with polychromos, if I remember correctly. But I mean, it's, you know, primrose, crocus. So I think that's definitely a, a spring kind of picture. Obviously, they're going hiking. I should. Should get back to it. Thought this one was kind of spring. So we've got some nests and eggs there. Could be summer too, I guess. Um, one of those loops for looking at... Uh, Looks like they're they're collecting petals and things for kind of a nature book. Doing some nature sketches, maybe. Sorry, I'm pointing more towards the, the colored version than the line art, because the line art version is probably really hard to see. Besides, wouldn't who wouldn't want to look at that? I thought this one was kind of springish. Again, I'm pretty sure these are fritillaria. So it kind of does look like a, a tulip that's kind of hanging down. These are grape hyacinths, I think, in the back here. That's a type of uh, daffodil there, I think. Tulip. So, yeah. thought that was some spring flowers. This wouldn't have to be. This could be uh, summer. But I, I thought these were primroses, just kind of springish. And a bunny. I need to go faster. I have a lot of books to get through yet. <laughs> These are wild violets. So I thought that was kind of springish. Sorry, I just have fun looking at these. Hopefully you guys don't mind a long chatty video. Um, some more daffodils again. Fritillaria again. Yeah, it just struck me as spring. Some birds nest building. I thought that was very springish too. This is maybe more start of summer because this to me, those are what? Strawberry blossoms and these look like very early raspberries maybe or blackberries. So that could be kind of spring, early summer. Feeding baby bird. Again, kind of strawberry, or I mean, maybe those are raspberry or blackberry blooms too, but some very early ones there. A deer with um, antlers just starting. So I thought that could be spring, early summer, but lots of pages in this. But this is just such a, I love this book. I love it, love it, love it, love it. 
This is, I think this is the only April book I have. And this is the older one, it's not the newer one. This is the Forest Girls Coloring Book, the premium edition, the hardback one. And there are definitely some spring images here. This one's called Blanket of Spring. And then again, you've got the colored image there that you could copy. This one's just called Let's Add On More Greens. But I thought, well, you know what? If they're planting a little tree and watering it, that to me looks like spring. And it kind of looks like spring in the background here, I think, too. This one's called A Painting of Spring. So she's looking at a painting of spring. The cherry blossoms at the top there. Clock of spring flowers. So the flowers are arranged around the, the clock. A letter to spring. Got a springtime forest scene. They're they're beautiful. They are beautiful. The birth of baby rabbits, which I thought was definitely a spring thing. <laughs> like a little bed with a little nursery and there's like a little, a little onesie kind of thing here for baby rabbit. That's adorable. A little mobile made of carrots. This one, it's called The Tree's Years. Um, I don't know. It, it struck me as maybe could be winter, could be fall, but it could be spring too. I don't know, it felt springish to me. I mean, there's no leaves on the trees, but there's kind of almost like a green haze in the background. And when spring is just starting here, I mean, that's what we get, right? You look out over the um, trees on my property and it, it just sort of looks like this green mist <laughs> up in the trees when the leaves are very, just first starting to come out. So, I don't know, it struck me as springish. This one again, redressing the walls could be fall but again i felt like there was that kind of haze in the background there the maybe the trees are just starting to get leaves i don't know fring sp fring spring <laughs> makes me think of you know freshening up refreshing paint and things like that so yeah i just thought that was springish i believe that's it for here so these are kind of my korean books right now <sighs> this is green ivy um, I believe, I don't know if that's, the author is S. He. So I think Green Ivy is the series. I love, love these books. Very similar to the, um, the idea with, um, the April books where you've got, you know, a colored image on one side and then the, the line art on the other. This is separated into seasons so part one is spring and i i actually i think prefer this illustrator this artist to april <laughs> and as far as i know there's only two books out by this artist and oh my goodness even if i never color in here because i'm scared quite frankly i would still buy them just to look at the the artwork the line work on these is it's not all the same color the line work will in in very muted pale tones will match the color that's over here so like these little um, purple flowers here the line work for the purple for the flowers is purple on this side um the line work for this red ball of yarn is red here very muted so it's it's not super you know bright colors on this side but yeah so that's different you don't often see that but these are all just spring images i mean they're just Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Sorry, again, I need to go faster. Oh, there's like, almost looks like it was printed there. It's like a little blue speck. Climbing roses, spring flowers, playing piano. Like the cat, the cat's in most of them doing, I don't know, odd things. It's wearing a little apron, holding a plant. with the cat. Some birds, spring flowers. 
This is Anne. this must be Anne of Green Gables. Canadian thing. She's reading to some farm animals. There's like baby ducklings. With that cover image. Uh, I won't turn it just because uh, yeah, I need to get going. There's a stack next to me. Looks like a bluebird. But I mean, the, the, yeah, I don't know how many times I can say it, but I just, I just love the images. The paper is nice. It's very smooth, which I, I prefer. I wonder how pit pens would do in here. To try it on a page in the back somewhere. Maybe I already have. No, I don't think I have. Sorry, I know I should be turning these, but you get the idea. And then summer. So yeah, this book is, is broken up into seasons. And then the other book by the same illustrator is this one. It's called Nostalgia. And this is hardbound. The other one wasn't. This one isn't broken up into... Look at the end papers on that. Isn't that beautiful? This one isn't broken up into seasons. Um, so there's kind of, you know, different seasons kind of sprinkled all the way through. It's broken up into sections, but I don't know. It's just called Nostalgia 1, 2, 3, and 4, but it, it doesn't seem to be like there's, you know, there's spring pages in each section. So there's that one there. The blossoms. More blossoms there. This one says spring is here. So a lady selling spring flowers market stand relaxing under a spring tree looks like the blossoms are falling the cat has a, uh, a grass stem in its mouth <laughs> there's that one this one is spring barn cleaning I actually I translated that so chick with uh, chicken with its chicks and then I skipped right you could see there's quite a, a section there where it didn't have any spring pictures um, but I thought this one was kind of springy this looks like again kind of pink cherry blossoms and I thought this one looked springish very windy flying a kite and then you've got the kind of cherry blossoms there And this is the cover image. It's called Knock Knock, but I, I thought this looked very, it wouldn't have to be springish. I mean, it could be summer too. She's got some little white flowers in her hand there, a little crown of flowers. The cat has a crown of flowers. I don't know, just struck me as springish. White dress. Yeah, but these are such beautiful books. Uh, both of them go um, Etsy. I bought them off of Etsy, so lovely. And then this one I got, I think just this past year, and it's not the same illustrator, but it's, I think, reminiscent of the style in, in some ways. Um, and I believe, and this one also came off of Etsy, and the illustrator is Rosa, and the book is called Every Season, Every Moment, and it is broken up into seasons. So spring is the first season, and again, you get... Well, this one's a little different. You get the colored image first and then a line art image. So instead of facing, it's it's on the next page. Um, but there's the colored image. So I thought that looked very springish in the spring section. The paper in here is very good. It's a little, got a little bit more tooth than I would say the, the S. He books, Screen Ivy books. This one's so much... I know I keep mentioning Zucchini Kitty, but I love her coloring. I love her color palettes. Uh, this, and I think maybe I've said this before, reminds me so much of a color palette that she would do. So I don't know if she has this book, but she does. I think she would. That just strikes me as her kind of color palette. Again, I think the line art is, is less detailed, right? So 
like this balloon here has spots the line art does not so you'd have to you have to do that yourself this balloon here has some lovely you know shading and you've got the the shiny area there because it looks like one of those mylar kind of metallic looking balloons whereas here you've got none of that so you would have to have to do that yourself and I mean if you did want to copy this you'd probably have to take a picture of this with your phone and then maybe have it in front of you while you were coloring that girl on her bicycle those are forsythia blossoms I think and playing on the swings this one does not have the colored line work it's just uh, it's black but it's a it's a paler black line work like almost not a sepia but yeah it's not stark black I guess is what I was getting at this is still the spring section they've just got some it's like someone has taken pictures and hung them up on with little clothes pegs and strings it's got kind of a bokeh background effect there it's very pretty sorry there's a glare there a bit it does have a texture to the paper but on the printed ones anyway they the ink that they've used is almost shiny dad coloring with the little one and if I remember correctly because I think I did a flip through of this book when I first got it um, yeah so none of the images are on the papers here so all of these little colored it you'd have to do them yourself or you could put whatever you like on those pages I love little kids artwork I just love it playing in boxes cats in a box and this is probably supposed to be that way if I had to guess that one just relaxing day dad got some snacks on the table the girls reading a book guys just having a rest on dad And that's it then it goes on to summer so that's a lovely book too I will give you the ISBN for that one just because that one might be more difficult to find and again if you're having trouble finding any of these um, just let me know and I can try and link them for you I don't have all of Hannah Carlson's books I have I think three total but I chose some pictures out of daydreams that I thought were kind of Easter springish. So we've got this one with the rabbit. This looks like, again, could cherry blossoms or apple blossoms and some birds. Oh, sorry, game not centered. This one wouldn't have to be springish, but it, it kind of struck me as springish. Uh, both of these did actually so we've got I don't know just a rabbit and and some fireflies could be summerish too this one game looked to me like sort of apple blossoms or cherry blossoms and then some eggs and a nest that one struck me as springish again cherry or apple blossoms and this one kind of struck me as some spring flowers down here mushrooms could be fall but they could also be spring so and we've got a frog the look of a frog's face is pretty good <laughs> um you know maybe some spring showers there but yeah so there's a couple pages out of Hannah Carlson's daydreams and of course she does have her seasons book and spring I believe is right at the beginning so it starts with seeds and sunbeams there and then just goes through she's got different spring pictures we've got icicles dripping there so 
sort of springish kind of stylized maybe cherry blossoms. Looks like spring florals there. Some seedlings, snowdrops. Some more stylized things there. Still in the spring section though. Some baby chicks and some daffodils. Maybe crocuses, maybe? These look like... Uh, I was gonna say dandelions, but maybe not. They could just be just flowers with some mice doing some exploring there. Grape hyacinths. Um, daffodils. So yeah, spring florals. Egg. Easter egg. Some bunnies. And then I think this is the last page of the spring section because... Or maybe this one is. Because this says Bright Summer Nights. So that's where the summer section starts. And then the only other Hannah Carlson book I have is Tales from the Witch's Cottage. And I looked through that one and I didn't really find any spring pictures there. This is the only Clara Markova book I have, Fairy Celebrations. And I think this one does go oops, by seasons as well. And I think she starts with spring. So we've got all kinds of spring images here. And I'm basing that on what I'm seeing on this side of the page, because this is sort of still spring florals um, kind of spring florals here. Still kind of spring florals. It says for mom, Mother's Day here in Canada and the U.S. is in May. Um, I'm not sure. UK it's earlier though, isn't it? You guys have Mothering Sunday, but it's in, it's in March? Spring, anyway. Still some spring florals there, I think. Those look like cherry blossoms again. Some more spring florals there. Her dragons are cute. We've got a double page spread. Mushrooms again. It could be spring. Could be fall, but we do have, like I say, I can find morels here in the spring. I appreciate her artwork. It's not my favorite. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I'll buy any more of her books. Baby horse, baby unicorn. But I do, I mean, I appreciate the artistry of her, of her work. And then I think this is the last spring page because then we get sort of sea creatures and I'm assuming that's kind of like where summer starts. So Clara Markova, Fairy Celebrations, some spring pages in there. I have a couple different Maria Trolle books. Did I say that right? Trolle? Trolle? I hope I said it right. Twilight Garden is an older book. It's actually one of my favorites of hers I think if I had to choose though. Um, I thought this was a, a nice spring picture. Just some, those are bleeding hearts. And then we've got Lily of the Valley here. Looks like some maybe cherry or apple blossoms. So I thought that was a really nice spring picture. That could be too. This one here. Looks like clover. Uh, and then, I mean, there's tons of florals in here. And again, you could, I mean, any of these could be. You know, you've got strawberries there if you wanted to make that spring. But uh, these two here, I think, are definitely spring. Because, of course, we have... And again, I'm pretty sure that's fritillaria. <laughs> but that's grape hyacinth, um, daffodils, tulips. We've got more tulips on this page. Little bee. So I thought those were definitely spring images there. And then one here. I'm gain more... Narcissus? Narcissi. I think the ones with the smaller cones in the middle are Narcissi or Narcissus instead of daffodils. But some tulips. This could be spring as well. Those look like maybe peonies. 
But yeah, so there's a couple in Twilight Garden. There are a few in uh, Botanicum. That's very pretty spring image. We've got tulips, we've got the bleeding hearts, uh, Dicentra, the Latin name. Um, these look like forget-me-nots. But yeah, I thought that was a spring image. This could be a spring image as well. It does look like some blossoms on a on a branch. Spring there, right? Eggs. We've got uh, grape hyacinth again, some more bleeding hearts. And then we have our Easter bunny. So I think that's definitely Easter. The eggs. I think, yep, that was it in this book. So a few in Botanicum. Oh my goodness, this is the, the Swedish version and I forgot to translate. Which one is this? Twilight? Did I get that wrong? I probably did. But I thought there was a few in here. So this one again is Lily of the Valley, so that always reminds me of spring. And then we've got a fawn. Looks like some spring florals we had going on down here. This is Pussy Willows. Um, totally blanked on what these are. Pretty sure they're spring flowers too. But the Pussy Willows are actually... Can you see that? You guys probably have this book and you've already seen it. Ooh, they're like little sleeping critters <laughs> wrapped up in little fuzzy blankets that's the pussy willows so i thought that was that was very cute there we've got more spring florals i thought this one was kind of springish wouldn't have to be it could be summertime too but you know you had blossoms on the trees some little fairies Gain Lily of the Valley. Why can't I think of what they're called? The, the name is right there. <laughs> you guys will tell me. You'll tell me in the comments. But yeah, spring florals. This one is maybe, I mean, it could be spring too. You've got eggs in a, in a nest. Um, they're violets. Oh my goodness. Oh, Connie. But then we've got some lilies here, which here are more summery, but those are violets. They're violets, wild violets. This one, these look like allium blooms. And then we've got tulips. And then more tulips here. That's, that's cool with the spider web. Yeah. So Maria has some lovely spring pages in, in a number of her books. This is her most recent one, um, Starfall, I think, or, or Falling Star, Shooting Star. This one could be spring. It's got bunnies, but it could be summertime too. Um, here we've got some tulips, so I just you know sort of assumed that was kind of springtime. Here we've got tulips, some daffodils. You can see in comparison to her older books though, I mean, these pictures are, they're simpler. Um, that's okay. Artists evolve, they change. Thought this was spring. We've got Lily the Valley again, a tulip. This one, we've got more tulips. Little girl. This could be summer or spring. This one had daffodils in it, so I kind of thought that was springish. And this is a neat one where you've got sort of it's like Mother Earth holding the moon and then the moon holding Earth. Because of course this is up in the sky, the stars, so it's kind of neat. But I mean I thought that was and maybe there's some symbolism there, right? You've got, you know, in the spring, Mother Earth being reborn. There's Lily of the Valley again. Oh, 
This could be summer. It could be spring. Those look like grape hyacinths to me and maybe some tulips down here. So I thought, you know, make it spring, why not? And then this one, you've got the fawn, baby deer. So to me, that was kind of springish and the trees don't have that many leaves on them. So it kind of struck me as spring. So I think definitely some, and I don't have all of Maria's bro books. Those are, those are all I have, but um, I think some spring choices there. And the cover on this one is just stunning. Love that. Um, Rita, this is her walk on the land book. And I thought that there was a very cute spring one here where you've got, you know, your Easter eggs and you could even extend it over to here because you've got the rabbit. Right? So I think, yeah, that was the only one in this one that I really thought was, you know, springish. I have to keep that one in mind. I'm just, I don't know, right now I just, I'm going to put that to the other side. I see uh, Rita's images or Rita's books and I just want to color them. I think there's a few in uh, Meine Reise durch Europa. I think in the sort of Holland section, she sort of, you know, stuck with kind of that tulip theme. So that just reminds me again, living here of spring. So I get two pictures there because we've got tulips on both of them. And then some more tulips there. And I think that's all I marked in here. It's just the, oh, sorry, just the, those few pages there that had tulips. But again, I mean, there's tons more florals in here, right? You've got those to me, you know, you've got a sailboat and things like that. That looks more summerish to me, but you can, you can totally view it how you wish. And then in her Asian book, I thought these two pages definitely struck me as springish because of course we have the, the cherry blossoms here. That would be beautiful to color. Okay. Yep. That's all I marked there. Now, Joanna Bassford, of course, she's got World of Flowers, um, tons. I mean, all of her books have tons of florals in them. And you could make any of those spring florals. I took a quick look through and I didn't find any other than that spring wreath in Small Victories that looked specifically springish. Like she would have maybe a floral wreath in World of Flowers that would have one daffodil in it, but then sort of non-spring flowers in the rest. Um, but yeah, I mean, the tons of florals in Joanna Basquiat, you could make them spring. But I thought this page out of Ivy and the Inky Butterfly was definitely, definitely springish because it does talk about branches of cherry blossom. So I think you could practice your cherry blossom coloring there. And I, that was the only one I marked in here, but you know, there's, there's tons of, of florals where I just actually, yeah, I mean, some of these flowers could be spring, but then others not. So yeah, you could, you could choose to make anything spring. Oops. This is Fantasy Towns, I think it's called. Um, Coloring with Kay loves this book and I think she calls it the Townscapes book. And I marked the pages in the front here just because I thought it was, I mean, I can certainly show you the uncolored versions as well, but um, this one in particular, I thought was very, very spring. It's kind of got the, the cherry blossoms in the, in the back and it's got colored versions at the front. And then when you flip, so this says number five, when you flip to that, um, it's actually on the back. Yeah. So five, it says there. So this is picture five. So then you've got your uncolored version here. Um, you would, you know, if you wanted to, to copy this, you could just take a picture of that with your phone, have it sitting in front of you and then transfer it to there. So that's a very nice spring one in this book. I think that's the only one I marked. Eerie has some lovely spring pages in, uh, in her books. So this is, this is the first tale and we've got the Easter egg collection here. So that's Easterish. Not Easterish. It is Easter. 
And I think, yeah, I think that was the only spring one out of this one, the first one. Then I've got the second tail here. So we've got, there's a, a spring picture, I think. We've got the tulips here, windmills, kind of, so, sort of a, um, you know, a, a Dutch kind of Holland inspired picture. This could be spring, could be summer. You know, you've, you've got kind of a garden scene. It's like they're trying to dry the rubber boots. So that could be spring. It's certainly spring where I am. We get a lot of mud. And then further back in the book, I love this page. Tiny, lots of tiny details. I need, you know what? I'm going to put this on the other side of me too. Um, again, can't guarantee that I would color it, but yeah, lots of little details with the little Easter eggs, kind of on an Easter egg tree. That's neat. Looks like some paint supplies, so maybe they were coloring the eggs. And then there's all these eggs down here. Yeah, I'm going to stick that back in there and put that on the other side. And then we've got the third tail. And there was a page here just entitled Spring Has Come. So it looks like a maypole they've got going there. So yeah, sorry, I said Erie had a lot in these books. I guess it's not a lot. Some. Um, oh, this is Jen Katz. And I'd gotten these books back in the fall time. And the other one, uh, I'd gotten two of them off of her Etsy store. The other one is called Autumn something. Autumn is my favorite color. But this one is Homes Sweet Homes. And I thought there was a couple in here. Or one anyway. Nope, a couple. That I thought could be spring homes. And she has this very fantastical, whimsical style. So this is, to me, those look like snowdrops. And then uh, we've got this little, usually they're like little bunnies, sort of, planting on, on some, some different levels in the house here. But I thought that one looked kind of springish. It looks like there might even still be snow on the ground, right? So we've got early spring. Oh, sorry, that's my printer starting to make noises. And oh, I wouldn't have to be spring, but it kind of struck me as spring. These look like uh, dandelions here, maybe. And then we've got the little bunny, some carrots. It's just, there's so many things going on in these pictures. But, I don't know, I just thought that could be spring. Looks like there's little teeny baby bunnies up in here. That's cute. Looks like an egg there. So maybe there was kind of an Easter feel to this one she was going for. Yeah, this is from Homes Sweet Homes. And you have to get this. I would show you an ISBN, but there isn't one. Um, so you have to go to her Etsy store. And if you look for Jen Katz on Etsy, I'm sure you'll find it. And then you can order it from there. I have three of Linda Ravenscroft's books. And I ordered them directly from her off her website. I've not colored in them, but I do... Some of the artwork I like, some I'm less enamored of. I'm not a fan of coloring people, but she does have in a few of her books. So I think I have one, two, and four. I think that's it. Um, they seem to have some more um, images in them that weren't necessarily just people. But this one is called The Lady of Spring, Green Woman. So she does very, you know, sort of mystical mythological fantasy kind of pictures. Very heavy grayscale. But, yeah, so these are, there's lots of fairies. As you can see there, the paper is, I mean, thick, thick cardstock. What does it say? I think it said it's 300 GSM. So, I mean, it's, this is a book of cardstock, basically. So that's, this one was from uh, book four. I wanted to look for that. Linda Ravenscroft. I have, this is a Coloria book, Wonderful Little World, volume two. And 
I'm trying to think. Is there like a little spring section here? I think there might be. I no, well, maybe not. No. Um I don't know that it's I don't think it's necessarily broken up into seasons, but I think there is a little spring section here, so I thought this was kind of a springish picture. It looks like almost shamrocks up here, maybe. Oh, no, those aren't shamrocks. Clover. Um, but there's some daffodils up there. And of course, these Coloria books are all pr also printed on uh, quite thick paper. And then this one could be some spring, some spring florals there, maybe more summer. Oh, these Coloria books you have to keep flipping. maybe summer yeah that one's maybe more summer this one is an Easter one though so I think that's definitely I can't see yep yeah. because uh, we've got the Easter eggs here and the Easter bunny we've got daffodil I mean it's just spring right going on here so that's color yeah wonderful little war volume two. Oh, I lied Remember before I said I didn't include the Matchstick Mouse floral book? Apparently I did. And apparently I found uh, spring florals in here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'd forgotten, obviously. I actually pulled these books a while ago and then had them sitting off to the side waiting to do this video. So. There is little Matchstick Mouse in some, those look like Lily of the Valley blooms. So I thought that was kind of springy. Those look like crocuses or tulips. A bit of springtime going on there too. So this is like an hour and a half, so hopefully you guys like long chatty videos. This one looks springy. Get, are those shamrocks? Do shamrocks have three leaves or four? I apologize if I'm wrong. But got a little scarf. They're going on a little spring hike, I think. He, she, sorry, she's got a little scarf. These definitely look like snowdrops or, or um, cause I mean, it's, it's still snowing here. So I thought that was an early spring picture. And then some blossoms, maybe cherry blossoms. Doesn't look like there's any leaves, so I'm assuming cherry could be apple, but that's springy too. I'm sorry, I said I didn't have this one and I did. So that's Matchstick Mouse, a floral coloring book. We've got Gnome Sweet Gnome. This one has a spring uh, page here, I think, where looks like the little gnome is doing some planting out in the spring, maybe. Could be summertime, too. But there's some daffodils down here. Some maybe bluebells there. I thought that was a, a nice spring page. Oh, I thought there was a couple spring pages in R.J. Hampson's Forest Song. Of all of his, I think this is my favorite. Um, I know it's an older one, but I think... And this is the soft cover version. This one's just called Spring. So we've got um, some birds in a tree with some blossoms and then two little baby deer, rabbit, and then he's entitled it here, Spring. And this is called With the Heart of May. So, you know, Spring, May Day. So there's a couple here and then of course there's a, a second copy of the images in the back here because this isn't the hardbound book you've got the two copies in the images and this was before he was doing um the altered images like the, this where the second copy has something slightly different so these copies are the two copies are the same um Mel Pamini Chats Panagiotou's books so this is Circle of Life and I thought this was a, a lovely spring image because I, I mean, it's a lantern here with a campfire, but I, I took these to be like apple blossoms or, or cherry blossoms around the outside. So that's why I was thinking spring on that one. This one again struck me as spring. We've got some leaves on the trees, but they look like very small leaves. And then I don't know, it struck me as like spring flowers on the bottom here. 
So could be summer too, but I just felt it was kind of a very spring image. And then I thought this one was, I don't know, maybe less springish, but you certainly got, well, the circle of life. You've got the eggs, the baby chicks, the adults. Maybe I just baby chicks <laughs> for what made me think of spring. But yeah, a couple in Circle of Life. Oh, sorry, I had to adjust my pile off to the side there. We were about to have another book avalanche. Uh, I think a couple in Nature Mandalas, again, Milkamini. Every time I look at this page, I think I need to color it. In fact, I'm going to leave that tag in there, put that off to the other side. So you've got sort of the life cycle of a bulb here, right? So underground, right? And then it blooms and then you've got daffodils and tulips around the outside, some dragonflies or mayflies. So it definitely says spring to me. I'm gonna leave that tag there. This one I thought was quite springish. You know, we've got some kind of stylized tulips, grape hyacinths and some rabbits maybe. It could also be summer, but I just had a spring feel. This one, I mean, maybe could be, could be summer. I thought maybe these were like fawns, like baby deer. The, the tree didn't look like it was too leafy. Yeah. So a few in nature mandalas. So I'm going to put that one to the other side. And we've got a few in Enchanted Earth. She's got a new one coming out February 2025 that's called, oh, and I think I did this once before and I couldn't remember it then either. Something Dreams. Enchanted Dreams? No, it's Enchanted Earth. Something Dreams. And I have it pre-ordered. <laughs> I love her work. I do. And I love the UK versions. Um, I like the paper better than the US. So I have my, her new one, pre-ordered from Blackwell's. So I thought this one was kind of springish. You've got that mythological, it's, it's, it's a mythological image um, of that tunnel of trees. And I'm trying to remember what, mm, can't think of it. But then you've got some tulips down here. I just, yeah, just struck me as a spring image. Now, this one, you actually have all four seasons in the same page, right? Because you've got winter, um, fall or autumn, summer, but then you've got a little spring image up here. So it's kind of like, it's like small victories. It's not quite as small and as simple. It, it, these are still quite detailed. Each, you know what? I'm going to leave the tag in that one. Um, they're quite detailed, tiny details, and they're screaming pit pens to me. <laughs> but yeah, you could just do one per season. And then I thought this one was definitely springish. It's got that whole Holland, um, Netherlands kind of feel to it. You know, you've got the windmills with the, the tulips. Squirrels, which of course will dig up your tulip bulbs and eat them. They don't eat daffodil bulbs though. So if you want to plant bulbs that the squirrels aren't going to dig up and eat, plant daffodils. I've got two books here by Flora Waycott. So her Nature, a seasonal coloring book, she goes through um, and she starts the book with spring. And so then she'll do some pages for spring and then she goes on to summer, etc. So these are her spring pages. A beehive there. Some feathers, birds building a nest and then laying some eggs. Some spring florals and the big butterfly. Big images. I mean, detail, but I mean, there's a lot of big open space there. Those look like snowdrops again. I keep calling them snowdrops. Maybe that's not what they're called. I apologize if they're not. It's just the word that keeps coming to mind, but bunnies. This looks to me like um, cherry blossoms bees. 
Those look like crocuses, kind of a wallpaper kind of page there. Two pages. Baby deer fawns. Some daffodils and other kind of spring florals with some ducks and ducklings. That's a cute page. And then again, more spring florals, tulips, and some other flowers. And I think that's kind of the end, because then I think it kind of goes on to... Well, I mean, that's still clover. To me, clover says summer, though. Yeah, and then you've got fruit ripening, so I think the spring stuff is just kind of at the beginning. So that's Flora Waycott, Nature. And then I also have her Winter Wonderland book. And at the very end of Winter Wonderland, she's got some spring pages. So her Winter Wonderland book, she's got quotes on the left that kind of... It's like a double page spread almost. Um, and then kind of a wallpapery kind of image on the right that's got some of the same... Um, images that, that are on the left. Surely as cometh the winter, I know there are spring violets under the snow. So we've got violets. Um, here we're back into winter again. <laughs> so, no, that's still winter. So she had this spring one stuck in there, then a few more winter, and then here, a wind... If winter comes, can spring be far behind? Percy Shelley. So then we've got some spring florals there. And my heart is like a singing bird, Christine Rossetti. So then we've got spring here at the end. I think that's the last image in the book. Yeah, and then she's just got a list of the quotes. So even though that's a winter book, there's some spring... Uh, pictures at the end and of course I have all three of Petra Gashetova's books again even if I never color in these I will never tire of looking at them tire of looking at them um, she's got this one is my flowers that's what it's called sometimes she's got a colored like her own artwork on the left that you can copy under the right not all the time but this one is Definitely spring. She's got some beautiful spring florals there. The paper in these books is very... Um, it's a nice thick paper. Here, there you can see her original artwork. Isn't that beautiful? Looks to me like these are watercolored, maybe? Maybe not. No, maybe that's colored pencil. Because she's got some pretty fine lines in there. Yeah. But you can copy or you can do your own thing. But how beautiful is that? So I thought there was spring florals there as well. Some more spring florals here. I mean, you've got the daffodils. And some tulips there. Looks like some cherry blossoms or apple blossoms on the branch. So there's some spring images in that one. And then this is, uh, translates to, I translated this and I, maybe I'm getting it wrong, but I did it a couple different times. It translates to seven flower. That's what it said it translated to. So I don't know, but oh my gosh, oh, that's just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So we've got some spring florals there. And you know, I never color with a bright palette like that. It, it would be good for me. I should probably stick this uh, back in there. <laughs> it would be good for me to copy that, right? To, to train my brain to, to use more of those bright color palettes. A basket of spring bulbs there. Some more spring bulbs there with some, I think those are hamsters or mice eating the spring bulbs. That's pretty typical. Some 
more spring florals. I'm sure you could watercolor on this paper. I mean, it's it's very thick. I've, I've not tried it. I don't know how it would work, but. Wow. Wow. Okay, I'm leaving that in there too. That could have been for Valentine's Day, but I mean, it certainly could be for spring as well. You know, you've got, I don't know if there's spring florals in there so much, but I don't know, the, the whole color palette just struck me as spring. Hmm, that's beautiful. And one last one here at the end. Now it's got, interestingly, so those are grape hyacinths, daffodils, cherry blossoms, and then fully grown cherries, <laughs> which would not be on the tree at the same time as the cherry blossoms, but that's, we can, it's artistic leeway. We can, we can let that go. So I left two marked in there. Again, not to say that I'm going to do them, but I don't know, just to remind me they're still there. And then this is her most recent book. And she had this stunning. Look at that. So she's got spring florals in jars. Wow. Sorry. Glare there. Can I get rid of it? There we go. So we got that and then line work version there. I thought this was kind of spring florals too. These look to me like the, you didn't get the fancy tulips with like the, the frilly edges. That's, and then they open up, they, they open up to be a flat kind of frilly looking flower. And I think they, they retain their, their petals um, a bit longer than maybe traditional tulips do. So that's, that's what I thought was here. So I thought that was some spring florals. I also have her box of watercolor um, floral pages and her box of greeting cards. And you know what? I think I forgot to go through those. So there might be some spring florals in there. So my apologies, but I don't think a lot of other people have those. So maybe that's why I wasn't, wasn't thinking about showing them. Um, this is of course your Ruri Mouse. And this is separated into seasons. So here we've got the spring season. We're doing all kinds of spring things. Sketchbook mouse. I think this is the start of his, his little adventure. His journey, I think, is spring. Maybe getting some I love his little, I don't know what that is. It's his little pet. I don't know what it is. It's a little, it looks like, a, well, he's a mouse, but then it looks like a mouse with like a little poofy tail. I don't know what it is, but it's adorable. And then going out sketching with his sketchbook. It's a beautiful spring scene. Yeah, this is his, I don't know what it is. It's adorable. Collecting flowers, maybe impressing them. There's some Easter eggs. An egg in a basket there. So yeah, definitely, definitely spring going on. Those look like berries. Now to me, berries here would that would be summer, not so much spring, but this one's included in the spring section. And that's okay. A little picnic and then there's summer so there's a spring section in your room mouse sketchbook mouse um, this is the same kind of um, it's this Kotoli Kotoli a series of books so this is the, the bunny one there's a bear one oh yeah I do have the bear one and then there's a squirrel I don't have the squirrel one um, but I thought this had some kind of spring looking, this looks like Easter eggs here. 
This could be spring too or summer. Skip a little bit and I thought this was kind of spring looking. Had some tulips down here. Looks like violets in there. And then at the back we've got, now there is some sort of crafting pages at the back. So they're not exactly coloring pages. Like this is a, this, I think this is just talking about how to, to paint and color Easter eggs. But then there was like a little coloring page here that had some Easter eggs to color. So those are spring Easter color coloring pages. Oh, having a hard time talking. It's been a long video. I'm getting to the end of my pile though. This is the bear book. So I thought these two pages just, I, th I thought this was like spring cleaning. So that's what I, sort of the lighting's kind of not great. Windows sweeping. That's what it reminded me of spring cleaning. And then doing some tidying up outside. This could be summer. Um, but I thought it was kind of springish too. And this one had some tulips and things, so I thought it was kind of some spring florals. So I thought this one could be a nice spring picture. A little animals on the train. So that's this one, the bears. And four more books. <laughs> this is the new Yururi Mouse sketchbook mouse, but this is the Seasonal Wreaths of Plants and Friends book. So this one came out, I think, just before maybe December 2023. So just before the, the turn of the year. And this one is seasonal, so there's a spring section here. And I think spring is the first section. So we've got, you know, some colored examples and, and then some uh, how-to kind of color things at the front there. And then it starts with spring. So it says this is apple blossoms. We've got kind of a spring wreath. And some more spring images. Little hedgehog. There's Easter, it says. So we've got painting Easter eggs and then kind of an Easter wreath. I'm going to mark that one. Spring promenade. And roses, it says. Tea salon. Different spring florals here, Chinese violet crests, cornflowers, fleabane, crabapple, snowflake, um, some violas, potentilla. I think those are forget me nots, maybe? I don't recognize the the Latin name. And the little wreath with some bunnies there. Some bees. Japanese buttercup, it says. Wreath with some ponies in there. And then on to summer. So yeah, this book has some seasonal sections in it. This is Kanoko Ogusa. This is Minuet de Bonheur. And there's definitely some spring or, or Easter images in here. So this is sort of, not the title page, but kind of an intro page here, but you've got duck and ducklings and spring florals. And then a few pages in, you've got, I think both these pages could be spring, but this one in, in you know, particular with the baby goats. Baby goats are adorable. Just got little baby booties and I mean, just baby stuff makes me think of spring. My daughter was born in the spring too, so maybe that's why. 
here, I think some spring florals because these all look like violets and pansies to me. And you've got a baby deer. Some more kind of spring florals down here. Looks like some violets. A goose with some goslings. So I thought that was kind of springish. I said I was going to show you some coloring pages that I did in the spring. I didn't show you very many, did I? Maybe I just, I mean, I've colored florals, but maybe not spring florals. Though, I may pause this and I may grab, because remember I said in Rita Berman, the spring book, there was a, a tulip page that I had actually done, but not in the spring book. I did it in the compilation season book, so maybe I'll pause the video and grab that at the end. There's some Lily of the Valley, so I thought that was kind of springish too. And yeah, sort of a spring forest scene ferns. The ferns uh, open up here in the springtime. There's a flying squirrel. I get those at night. I can see them outside my window. They come to my bird feeders. Snowdrops again. So yeah, some spring pages in that one. This is the original Japanese version, so it doesn't have the, the colored images at the beginning. It just starts. And then... Of Rhapsody in the Forest. Again, this is the original Japanese version. So no colored images at the beginning. Just starts. So I thought that was a, a very cute spring image. Got spring florals again. Key. Kind of growing out of a page of a book. There you've got tulips. So there's so many spring images to be found in your books and it's just such a, I don't know, such, for me anyway, just a really relaxing thing to just flip through all my books. You know, you, you forget or I forget what images are there. Spring showers, it's baby animals, that's a nice page. More of a wallpaper page, but I thought it could be springish. Looks like some spring florals, bunnies. That's definitely Easter. Chicks and eggs and bulbs. This one looked to me like there was more spring florals going on there. And the last book, although I will pause it and I will grab that. Just so you can see my tulip page. Just so I feel like I've shown you something I've colored this spring. This is, uh, it's called Fantasy Season. And it's a, a Japanese book. And it goes by months. So at the very bottom of the page, it has uh, the month listed. So this says March. And then it'll go, you know, March for a couple pages, and then it'll be April for a couple pages. So, yeah, it has seasonal pictures that go with the month. Now, March does not look like this where I live. <laughs> there's, there's definitely not flowers in March here, but uh, there is apparently where the the illustrator lives. So, here's March, and I think so. That's February. They had Valentine's Day, and they had baking. But yeah, even so, this is February, but they've got. I don't know if they've got flowers here. I still thought that looked like snow on the trees, but maybe not. But for for March, you've got yeah, just kind of you know you've got spring florals and and they're picnicking outside. A little hedgehog. It's a very unique illustration style, I think. This is still March. Uh, and then this says April. We've got Happy Easter. We've got an Easter picture there. That's an interesting Easter picture. They're in a bathtub sailing in, in like an egg boat. And then this is April, but I think after this it was kind of more 
mean, I guess they could still be spring. You've got the Easter egg there, and you've got... I don't know if they're chicks or bunnies. Because they look like chicks, but then they've got these little ears. I'm not sure. And this says May. So this, again, spring, but kind of, you know, it's talking about harvest time, which I don't, wouldn't be May to me, but um, could certainly be a, a spring picture. But then it's going to, from there, you know, kind of getting more into summertime. You've got lemonade, um, you know, picnics, and then maybe camping. So, yeah. But here, let me, let me pause the video, put that there, and I will be right back. All right, so probably should have shown this one earlier. This, of course, is Rita Berman's uh, compilation seasons book. So it's got some pages from each of her four seasonal walk books and does have the spring section starting right about there. Actually, no, I guess the spring section is the beginning. Pardon me. So the spring section starts at the beginning of the book. And that is what I did in here, which, you know, when I started this page, I had no idea what I was, I, I wasn't even thinking. I just, in fact, I think I threw the background down first and you can see it's metallic paint. And then I believe, I believe the flowers are watercolor pencil of some kind. I'm not sure if it's doesn't maybe it's ink tense maybe that looks really pale for ink tense though could be um and then i just threw some glitter gel pens on for the butterflies and then i put a little bit of glitter gel pen over top of the the watercolor paint on some of the flowers and then i put there was like these little circles that she had drawn on so i just used a little bit of um the clear jelly roll glaze pen just to, I don't know, make them look like, I don't even know if you can pick that up over the shine of the background. And then I tried to do like a bokeh effect background. But yeah, I think that's the only spring page I've colored in here. I think. Yeah, because that's a summer page. And I go to this book when I want to experiment. But then <laughs> sometimes they turn out really nice and I kind of wish they were in the other book. But that's okay. But yeah, I was happy with this. It's brighter than I normally do. And it's probably because I didn't really think about it. It was just kind of like, I'm just gonna go for this and whatever happens, happens. And then it turned out and it was kind of bright and yeah. So that's probably a good one to end on. There you go, we can just leave that there. So this was pretty much two hours of me just rambling on and looking at uh, spring and Easter and those kinds of pictures in my books. So hopefully you enjoyed it. You could have maybe just put it on and colored while you just listened to me talk looked up every now and again. If you like what you're seeing, please consider uh, liking the video, subscribing to my channel, leaving a comment, or letting a friend know that you found a channel and uh, you like it. Maybe they might like it too. I hope everyone is safe. I hope everyone is well. I hope everyone is uh, gearing up and planning on enjoying their spring coloring and, and, or maybe if you're not a seasonal colorist, just enjoying whatever coloring you're doing. Until next time, folks, take care. Bye-bye.